Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see what is Dabber and how we can use it. Now, Dabber is a simple object mapper for .NET, and also it's used in the Stack Overflow.com website. So it's really fast and really reliable. So let me just walk you through something before we start. Now, here is some performance comparison between Dabber, okay, and other, let's say, tools or uh, ORMs for .NET. And as you can see, it has a way significant or way higher speed than the rest of the other tools, okay? And even against entity framework. So I recommend using it if you are like comfort, com more comfy with using ORMs, I suggest you go and use Dabber, okay? It's much lightweight and much faster and also it's like a really small DLL library that will be included in your project. Okay. Now Dapper also, uh, if we see the release notes, actually the guys of Dapper are really active and also adding support for .NET Core. Okay. Or the uh, new uh, .NET that it can be run on uh, Windows, uh, let's say, or in Windows, Linux, or Mac. Okay, so it has a really strong support. So now let's go. Uh, okay, uh, now before we go, uh, Dabber all is available in a new Git. Okay, so to install it, just uh, type in in the package manager console, install uh, package Dabber. Okay, or just go to your uh, project and hit right click and choose manage in new Git packages and you will find it. Okay. So now, this is a console application I've created, okay? Now, I've created in the database this table. Now, this table, it stores the employee data, okay? Uh, the ID, the full name, the email, the phone, the address. The usual data or fields you find in an employee, okay? And I've inserted some data inside that table. Okay, now, how I can use Dapper? First thing first, we will need to create a class representation of the table inside the database with the, let's say, the related type or the correct corresponding type inside the database. So, right here I have the employee table as a class and I've added the ID with a type of integer and added the, add the other fields, okay? And with their corresponding types, okay? And now, how I can use Dapper? Dapper, to use it, first thing first, you need to define an SQL connection, all right? Now, after adding the, US, uh, the SQL connection, reference Dapper library. So, say using Dapper, okay? Now, we just go down here, okay, now, Dabber come, or let's say, by saying using Dabber, it add a method to the connection, okay, so if I type in to the, the connection, oh, sorry, yep, there is connection dot, now you will see some other methods from Dabber, like a query, okay, now from a query, if I call that, from a query, I can map the result of the table, uh, uh, the employee table in the database with the list, okay, or I enumerable, okay, inside my console application. So I'm gonna say employee right here, the, the, the data type, okay, and now here we need to specify if we see, uh, let me show you the candidates for this method. Okay, now we can here specify the command or uh, and as you can see the string SQL, okay, uh, if you want to define the parameters, if you want to add the uh, IDB transaction level. Now these are uh, optional as you can see all of them, all of them are optional. The only one is required is string SQL. So I will just go down here and say select star from employee okay and i'm going to just say to list 
Okay, let's add a comma. Now let's define a list employees. Okay. Now this list. Let me show you to it. Now this. This is essentially how you can use Dapper inside your uh, project or code. And as you can see, it's really simple. You don't need to create, let's say, an ADMX and uh, map and do like uh, entity framework. Okay, you just go right here and add the method or select the method. The method. Okay, and uh, through your connection and just get whatever result you want. Now here is the query. The query will send this the select star from employee now it will send it us back uh, the result from the database and uh, convert it to a list of employee now what i want to do i want to iterate inside i'm sorry for each actually i want to iterate inside employees and i want to type their data so i'm going to say console dot right line okay i'm gonna say full name and i'm going to add the employee name dot full name okay let's copy that now let's write the email and also let's add his phone okay and let's say right here your phone and let's just add an empty now let's just add some equal signs all right so let's run this and see what we will get okay so right here yep as you can see here are the three employee data from the database as you can see they are written right here so as you can see it's really simple it didn't take us much time to let's say uh, to add a reference or something let me just show you how small library is uh, yep okay and as you can see it's only a hundred and about a hundred and twenty kilobyte library you just add to your application and it can speed a lot of things for you and also it's a really nice ORM to use and really simple. So thank you for watching. I hope you find this tutorial useful.